What is going on guys? I am back with another video and today I am going to be teaching you guys how to do a pull up. This way. This is a chin up. This is a pull up. Um, I think in this video I will do this one. Just because um, it's, it's, you might think it's a short tutorial but it's kind of in the middle. It's not like a super short one because there's actually good progressions and ways to actually do the right pull up. Um, and I've actually made this video about three times. I did it once on my iPod, once on this camera. It did not turn out well because it was way too quick. This one, and and then another one on my iPod way before. So, <laughs> hopefully I'm posting this one. So, you'll see this on the internet or not. And so, the first thing for a pull-up is to be able to hang from a bar. <laughs> So just like this, you have to be able to grab it with two hands. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go that slow, so I'm just kidding. So most people can do that. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to also start doing this. Just being able to jump up and doing that. Or just being able to jump up and having your arms bent. Because if you can't do that, then uh, it's kind of hard to start doing a pull-up because that's a good way to start doing a pull-up if you want to go all big and do whatever and start just going like this just lifting your shoulders up just like that and soon you'll gain strength there and be able to go like this and finally get up but I'm gonna do the jumping sort of one and the regular one so like I said be able to hang from bar and either be able to do the jumping thing or have to progress so, a good start for a pull-up is, like I said, jumping, so you could do that, which can help a lot because it can strengthen your arms because you're not fully up there unless you have a bar that's really short and you're already up there. You, that's a really good way to start doing a pull-up. But don't always do pull-ups that way because you're not in the right position or the right form. You're always, when you're doing these, you're jumping. Wait, you're just like that, because your chest is out. That was not a real <laughs> one. But like, if you're jumping, then you sort of lift your chest out, unless you jump like this. Even though you're still, your chest still goes out. But you're gonna have to learn how to do like a better form. So a good form for a pull up is this. You wanna have your whole body straight, Nothing like this. Nothing like like that. Nothing like this. You're gonna have it all straight. And what you do is you just go up without because like a lot of people to make pull-ups easier, they go like this. They stick their chest out when they're pulling up. And I'll show you guys this. Like like that. It's a lot easier. I'll do it like this. They do it like that. It's a lot easier to stick your chest out. I have no idea why. It's just your body. <laughs> so a lot of people do that, but when you're doing a pull-up, you do not do that because if you get in the habit of it, it's not good because it looks weird and it does not get you the the right pull-up or like not pull-up <laughs> muscle development. If you want really good shoulders, do pull-ups, and it will help if you're doing it right, and you'll get more out of it if you're doing it right. Like, yeah, that's pretty much. That's all the examples I can give because that's all pretty much is. So, um, another thing for, pull -up, for a pull-up progression is being able to hold this. That's a really good way. You can put a chair here, stand on it, and just hold that and have someone pull the chair out from under you and try to hold it as long as you can because that strengthens your shoulders and sort of like a tiny, tiny bit your biceps because pull-ups aren't your biceps, chin-ups are your biceps. So it's, yeah, your shoulders and your back, and so that is what can, you can also do. Also jumping. I'm doing this as a sort of beginner pull-up progressions tutorial, because look, this, if it was advanced, it would just be like, do a bunch of pull-ups. Just do a bunch. See, like, when you're doing them, your chest moves out a little bit because it sort of has to. If you really focus on that, 
then you will, you go slower and better. I was just doing that just to show a bunch of pull-ups. So, I just spit, that's really good, sorry. Um, so, that is your pull-up progressions. And, yeah, jumping is really good. Just watch your form. And if you want a really hard one, I'm just going to do this really quickly. Just start by going like this. Holding that. Holding that. Holding that. That's a really advanced one. That's also a workout, pretty much. But if you just can get up there and like that and like that, just go through all the stages. Don't just go right into a pull-up. Because if you get the stages down, you'll be there. And then just every few days, just keep moving up and you'll be able to do a pull-up. Because it's also really good to have good control on your pull-ups. Like being able to just go like this. And like going down really slow, going up really slowly. That's a really good workout. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of scattered everywhere. There wasn't really any specific thing. But that's my tutorial, and I hope that helped um, to any beginners out there. So, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.